What is up, Dream Media family? This is Zach, and today we are taking you to M Wave 2022, where we are doing a side by side comparison on 150 inch screens, two of them, of the Sony 6000 ES and the JVC NZ8, also known as the RS3100. I am super excited to see these side by side and see how they stack up. You guys know here at Dream Media, we are always trying to deliver authentic, real information so that you can make an educated buying decision when purchasing from us. We really pride ourselves on this. And this video is going to be sick. Let's get into it. Default sharpness. They're pre pre default sharpening modes. There's nothing has been tweaked from that. So for those on YouTube, we're looking at the Harry Potter scene right now, and the brightness level is much closer. It's a little bit dimmer on the right here. You know, a lot more a lot more detail. Yes. And so it's very interesting compared to that last scene where there's a huge brightness difference, and here it's it's much reduced. Yeah. So. And the detail closer in brightness and better detail on the right, which is really interesting. Yeah, you're getting a lot more detail on the right. But you're not losing brightness. Yeah, it's really, yeah, it's interesting because you were losing brightness on, on the previous clip, but on this clip, they're so close in brightness. Yeah. They're close in brightness. This color's and... different. They're interpreting the color a little bit differently. Within the, within the bright areas, you're getting a lot more detail, a lot more delineation. <laughs> That was the money shot right there. So now we're, we're back to the 1917 dark scene. And on the right, you're, you're barely seeing any, any shadow detail. It's, it's mostly just a black screen. And so the brightness was amazingly good, and then suddenly you're here, right? Yeah, and the difference in black levels here is not it's substantial. It's it's minor. It's just the, the highlights. It's highlights. You're you're just losing all highlights. This is this is tone mapping here. Yeah, they've clipped. I mean, it's, it's beyond clipping. You're crushing, you're crushing shadow detail. You're crushing right? shadow detail. So you can see in the previous scene, the, the projector on the right was was favoring that that detail. It dimmed the image a little bit to try to maintain detail in the highlights. But on this scene, it's it's hurting it. It's it's trying to maintain detail and highlights, but it's actually not. It's dimming the image too much and it's crushing it too much. So in default, really, the right image of this type of dark scene is unwatchable because getting detail. It's really, you can't see what's happening. You don't know. Like right now, we're watching it. There's a guy climbing upstairs in a really dark scene and you don't you don't know what he's on. Yeah. It's, you don't see the stairs at all. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you're seeing detail here. You're not seeing the other one, right? Absolutely. So the question then is, can you do something to the settings on the right to bring that detail back, or is this just not salvageable? I think you could. You could. You're going to have issues if uh, then the highlights are going to be clipping, and I don't know if you're going to be able to get it quite to what the left is doing here. Uh, so yeah, you can. Uh, I'm almost certain you could increase some of the contrast on the right oh. in these dark scenes. Yeah, you're losing the left half of the screen. That's a good one right there. If I was setting these up for myself, I'd probably bring the left down in brightness a little bit so I can get some of that detail. Right. And I'd be tweaking the right a little bit to get more brightness. But they're wildly different. I don't think you're going to be able to get them to be showing similar detail and similar brightness. Just That's just the nature of, of tone mapping is how these projectors handle it. Yeah, and it feels like a slightly lifted black on the left, right? Is that an artifact or is the right crushing the black? Because we saw it's favoring more blacks. Do you think that it should be slightly lifted or should it be as black as it is? Because now I'm noticing the right is pushing hard on the black to make sure your blacks are deep. Yeah, that's, it's hard to tell. So in a scene like this, you, it, is the black on the left, is it supposed to be fully black or is it is it supposed to be lifted? Right. If we looked at an SDR master of this, we might be able to tell. So it's, it's hard to know which one's interpreting it correctly here right. and, and what is just the you know, tone mapping on it. 
definitely. And these full scenes where black is not the whole scene, it's great. But when black is the whole scene, you crush all that yes. detail, right? Yes, we're going to motion here. here. All right. So. Oh, you can also see some tone mapping differences here as far as how bright the differences are. But this is this clip's here for motion. I'm seeing a little bit more judder on the left, a little bit more. It's a little, those paintings are a little bit smoother on the right. Now the left one is brighter, so that can play with your eye and make the judder a little bit more noticeable. Yeah, I'd say here in the spider man scene, where the reds are a little bit more. There's more depth. It's brighter, but I more depth on the left or right. A little bit more depth on the right. A little okay. bit more depth on the so right. So it's it's although it's not as bright. There's more depth in the colors. So the left is giving up. The left is giving up a little bit of color for the extra brightness punch. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the question is how important is color accuracy and color preservation? One on the left seemed to have more pop. So one on the left seemed to be brighter, more pop. But the one on the right seemed like the colors were better sorted, especially flesh tones. But the one on the right seemed to be more accurate, yeah. would you say? Yeah. Okay. So JVC NZ8 on the left, and then Sony XW6000 on the right. I'd pay double the price to come to come here again. Uh, it's been awesome just meeting people that have the same hobby. I can't find anyone in my friend group that that uh, likes this stuff just as much as me. So I was trying to think of who I can bring. But like no one's gonna want to come and sit through nine hours of looking at projectors and stuff like that. So it's just good to meet other people that are like-minded. If you're one of these guys like me that has kind of secretly been reading forums and watching videos and you haven't really connected with people that are also in the home theater um, you know I would encourage you to get outside of your comfort zone come to an event like this maybe find a meetup online but there's something kind of magical about connecting with people that are like-minded all right guys that is a wrap on our shootout of that Sony 6000 ES and our favorite, the JVC, the NZ8, also known as that RS3100, absolutely kills it. There is a reason we are your nationwide go-to JVC dealer. We've been obsessed with them for years. If you want the inkiest, the inkiest black levels that you can get, and the sharpest image, you gotta go with the JVC. Their Frame Adapt HDR and their Home Theater Optimizer is just off the chain. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it informative in helping you make a buying decision. If you still don't know what you want or you're working on putting together your home theater, reach out and talk with us for free. My consultants are on standby, waiting to talk with you. We like to FaceTime, Zoom, walk through your entire space and we'll optimize a package to fit your budget and needs. So maybe this isn't the projector for you, these two models, but we have something that will fit that budget and give you the best experience possible. We really pride ourselves on that here at Dream Media. All right, well, that's all I got for you. If you like this video, give me a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.